Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, next inside run play, which is our wedge play. We can run wedge out of any formation. I really like it out of the eagle formation because there's no exchanges made. And you can snap it to one of three guys. You can snap it to the wing back, you can snap it to the full back, and you can snap it to the tail back. And you keep your quarterback, who's kind of the guy you want out of the way in a wedge because it's such a uh, powerful uh, man-eating type play. So what we do right off the bat, quarterback is gone. He's just running a route. Um, he can fake his keeper play, whatever it is. I, I don't really even care. I kind of try to keep him out of it. Um, so we can direct snap it to any one of these guys and run the wedge or direct snap it to the tailback. The way we've been running is a direct snap to the tailback. So I'm going to show you what we do. On an even front, the right guard sets the vortex of the wedge. And if he is number 62, that means our tackle is aiming for his 2 and, his, and our center is aiming for his 6. If this guy's number is 55, he's aiming for his 5. If this center's number is 57, he's aiming for his 5, etc. We're all aiming for the adjacent man's number. We're blocking our own men, basically. So what we're doing is we're creating this huge 1,000-plus pound block all at one guy. Our, our wing back, which is right over here, is going to attach. He's going to go straight, and he'll end up attaching to that tight end. And our fullback is going straight, and he'll end up attaching to the tight end. I know from the drawing it doesn't look like that would happen, but when those guys go straight and these guys get off quickly, they end up getting right on the hip. So again, if this tight end right here was number 87, our wing back would be attaching to his 8. If this tight end over here was 92, he would end up attaching to his 9. So if you figure your average kid being around 200 pounds, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 guys all trying to accumulate all at one spot. So in a perfect world, hypothetically speaking, you got 1,800 pounds going all in one direction. And again, this is a short yardage play or it's a surprise hitter. The ball goes directly to your tailback who is at four yards just like your quarterback and he can jump over the top. He just wants to do whatever he can to get that first down staying as tight as he can to the middle of the wedge and that is key. So again, if you direct snap it to the wing back or the uh, full back, um, you can have him do like the over the, uh, one, the ball went over my head type thing or whatever, and it does hit a little bit faster, but I really like having both these guys as insurance policies for added weight and so those defensive ends can't crash off the edge and grab our tailback's legs before he's jumping over. That is wedge, what we call 20 wedge or uh, wedge right, because we're only running to the right, but generally we're just going to call it 20 wedge, and that would be against an even 4-3 front. Let's go take a look at it out on the field. 